So this is, I guess, a challenge video because I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this before where they, it's called, what's in my pencil case? So this is me. In case you haven't seen my face before. I was recently inspired by the YouTube channel Doodle Date. It's Stefan Adam. And if you haven't seen Stefan Adam, they're fantastic. They're probably my favorite YouTube videos to watch. But this is what's in my pencil case. These are my go-to favorite, 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 favorite art supplies. Now, the reason why they're my favorite art supplies is because they're there for me to grab when I'm sketching, if it's when I'm at work, or if I'm just out and about. There, this pencil bag is always in my book bag, and it holds my favorite art supplies in it. So let's take a look inside. Oh. Now the pencil bag I got from Bath, um, Bath and Body Works, so I had to buy the entire lotion set in order to get this very bag because I am a mermaid and it has two of my favorite colors on the bag and it's sparkly. This is actually not mine. It has been, it keeps getting thrown into my bag. I don't have a Crayola marker. I don't know why I have this, but it keeps getting thrown in my bag. It actually belongs at my work and people keep throwing it into my bag. I don't know if it was in my sketch box or scrawler box, but this little black eraser has done wonders. It's my go-to thing. Like, my art students in my art classes always ask me for this if they mess up big time on a project because they want <laughs> the black eraser because it erases everything. Um, my handy dandy pencil sharpener, gotta have one. A pair of children's scissors, just because kids always ask me for a pair of scissors, so I always have a pair of scissors. You have a calligraphy pen. I don't use it that much, but just in case, you never know. So these are two warm gray Copic markers. I love my warm gray Copic markers uh, to shade with. They're my go-to shading Copic markers, just because it, I actually just switched to Winsor & Newton uh, Pro Markers, but I always shade every, everyone every time every time somebody basically if everyone asks me if you could get any set of uh, Copic markers to work with I would say the warm grades because I always shade my concept sketches or just sketches with my warm grades and these are Stablio pens. Stablio pens are I swear, they're the only thing I will write with. And it's funny because my friend Cade, um, when I visited in New York City last time I was there, he said that he won't write with anything except with Stablio pens or just this typical kind of pen. And so ever since he said that, it just kind of stuck in my head that um, I'm never going to write with regular pens again. <laughs> so I write all over my planner or all over my sketches. I also use these to line some tone tan sketches, but these are called Stablio pens and they're my favorite. So these are very similar to Colorace Prismacolor pencils, but they are mechanical colored pencils. They're erasable colored pencils. So these are absolutely fantastic to sketch with. They look amazing on tone tan paper. I sketch with them and my art students, you can tell which ones they use the most. They actually use the blue one the most and the purple ones like everybody else, everybody else's go-to thing. But this color doesn't really look good on um, white paper, but it looks fantastic on tan tone as well as the pink. Uh, they're also by Eno. So yes, these are my favorite to sketch with or just doodle with in my sketchbook. I have a fine tip Sharpie, you just never know. And then I have a Pluto regular ballpoint pen. Several brush pens, I don't know why. It's just that I just have them. So one of them, my favorite one out of all of them is the Pentel brush pen. This one though, this one's like the very first one I've ever gotten and I think it's by Kurtik, uh, Kurtiki or whatever. <laughs> um, but it's funny because all the kids will ask to see my pencil bag to doodle with while I'm at the front desk at my job and I'll always be like, well, you can doodle with this and they absolutely love this brush pin. They think it's absolute magic and I'm always like, <laughs> you have no idea, it's the devil. <laughs> uh, regular Sharpie. I have several 
white gel pens. You just never know, and these are by Jelly Roll. So they're my favorite white gel pens. I will not use any other white gel pens. You may suggest a white gel pen down below in the comments. Chances are I'm not gonna use it because I am absolutely transfixed on the Jelly Roll pens. Funny story, this is a pen that I stole from the hospital back in last year in August. It is actual surgical marker and you can actually draw on yourself with this. The doctor was getting ready to do surgery on my mom's knee and he actually used this on her and as soon as I saw him use this, I was like, I need this and I'm gonna take it and I drew all over myself and it did not come off within 10 days. That's what I get for stealing. I have a ton of lining pins. My go-to lining pins are by Micron. So I love Micron and there's also, I think another brand. Yeah, Pigma brush, just like this. This is actually a brush tip pin as well, but this is a little bit less threatening than the actual brush tip pins that I showed you. But, and then my other runner go to lining pins are by Stadler and Prismacolor. So, but Microns are my all time favorite and I have a 05, 01, and then a brush tip. And then I have another ballpoint pen, another white gel pen. So I carry legit four white gel pens in my pencil bag because you just never know. A regular uh, mechanical pencil and another pencil sharpener and a ladybug eraser. Once again, it should not be in my bag, but it keeps ending up in my bag because my art students keep throwing it in my pencil bag. There you go. That is what's inside my pencil bag. Um, like I said, this is always, always on me. It's on my person. So like if I'm at work or just anywhere, if I want to doodle, then I have it all in this pencil bag just because I do go away from home a lot and I don't return for several hours so if I want to doodle while I'm waiting around out and about then everything is being carried in this mermaid off duty bag. But yes guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day. Hope this was helpful and maybe you'll get some of these supplies to put in your own pencil bag. But I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. 